IVF in vitro fertilization is a form of assisted reproductive technology, ART, which is a multi-step process. The first step is ovarian stimulation with self-injected hormones to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple follicles. This process is monitored carefully with multiple transvaginal ultrasounds and collecting blood work over several weeks. The second step is known as the egg retrieval phase. Once the eggs have been identified as mature, the embryologist can fertilize those eggs or freeze them. An outpatient procedure is performed through the vagina with a thin needle under light sedation to retrieve the eggs. The aspiration needle is connected to a suction that carefully pulls the eggs and fluid around the egg. The egg is smaller than a grain of salt. Then the sperm has been prepared and can fertilize the egg or intracytoplasmic sperm injection can be performed to fertilize the egg. Once an embryo has formed, it will be kept under observation in the lab for nearly a week. High-risk couples with a history of genetic or chromosomal disorders may undergo pre-implantation genetic screening for aneuploidy or chromosomal issues or for monogenic diseases, a single gene that both partners may carry to help us avoid that problem in the future generations. While pre-implantation genetic screening can reduce the likelihood that a parent may pass on a genetic disorder, it's not 100% guaranteed. As per the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, there's many prenatal testings that can be performed once you are pregnant. The last step is the embryo transfer. This can be done at day three or day five after the retrieval or a frozen embryo transfer. Typically, we place one embryo at a time. That's the safest way to approach this. But some situations are warranted to put multiple embryos. The extra embryos can be saved for future use or donation. <music>